Well, welcome to the April 19th Ricebird News. We got some great information for you today. Let us start with our COVID update. There's been a slight uptick in our COVID numbers this last week with nine confirmed positive, three at the elementary schools and six at the secondary schools. Let's continue to stay strong in these last few weeks till the end of school with our preventative and mediation efforts. The year is going to end and close and we hope that people continue to vaccinate. Although there has been a slight rise in national, state, and local numbers, we need to stay vigilant and watch what we're doing. Some announcements. The high school is hosting a blood drive Wednesday through the National Honor Society and they need you to help save lives. The drive will be open from 8.30 to 3 in the student parking lot near the track. You must be 16 or older to participate. Check out the ECISD Facebook page for the full flyer. This week is also exciting for our FFA and 4-H students. Please remember that students and staff have Friday off so the students can participate in the Wharton County Fair. Let's get into some student recognitions before our guest. Congratulations to the following members of the El Campo High School UIL academic team who competed this week in the Region 3, at 3 UIL championships. Ishmael Brito plays sixth in headline writing. Cambry Priestmeyer is a quarterfinalist with a fifth place in LD debate. Manny Trevino took fifth place in pervasive speaking. Melissa Martin plays fourth in poetry. Austin Victorin plays fifth in prose and third in informative speaking. The ECH computer science team plays fifth. The speech and debate team plays second and Austin Victorin qualified for the May UIL State Tournament. Congratulations, UIL academics. The El Campo High School varsity tennis team deserves congratulations with Colin Cherney and Carly Rawlinson placing second in the regional and our regional qualifiers. Kaylee Gardner placed fourth. The JV tennis team had Tracy Heeman and Sydney Blair place second, and Colden Bowers and Jolie Konarik placed third. The boys track team also participated in the area meet and had seven area champions and nine athletes qualified for the regional meet. Athletes moving on in the boys are Carrie North, Kendrick Hundel who qualified in four events, Reuben Owens in four events, as did Charles Shorter. Qualifying in two events were Decorious Ward and Reed Young, and also qualifying, qualifying were Andres Torres, Cullen Braden, and Isaiah Anderson. They will move on to the regional meet this Friday and Saturday, April 23rd and 24th. The girls track team boasts six area champions, champions and qualified seven athletes. Jakesha Nichols placed in four events or qualified in four events. Abricia Lindsay, Alexis Alcalias and Sierra Hernandez, each qualified in two events. And also qualifying were Kiana Wells, Denisha Lloyd, and Brianna Perez. Congratulations, girls and boys track. Baseball and softball play this week. The Rice Birds, as I mentioned, will travel to Huntsville for the regional track meet. And please see our website for ticket information. And now, if we would welcome our new guest for today, Janine Staling from Northside. We have a special guest today from Northside, Janine Staling. Thanks for being here. So good morning. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your experiences in the district as an educator. I've been at Northside or in El Campo uh, district for seven years. Um, all seven at Northside and the last six of those years I've been teaching fifth grade math. Oh, great. We're excited to have you. Thanks for being here. Well, Ms. Staling, we appreciate your efforts piloting the Schoology initiative. For those who don't know, Schoology is an online learning platform where teachers can assess students and place their lesson plans. And as a part of the pilot group, tell us about your experiences with the program. Uh, our experiences with the program, we, uh... Schoology can be a bit intimidating at first because there is a lot more you can do in Schoology than you can do in, in Google Classroom. There's 
a lot more ways to organize your classrooms and upload assignments. We had to kind of start small and use the same types of assignments that we were using in Google Classroom, put those in Schoology. That's where we started. And from there, we would branch out a little bit every day uh, and learn new things. There's just no way you can learn it all at one time. There's just a lot more to it. Well, tell us how this Schoology platform will enhance our teachers' abilities to serve students. In Schoology, that you can put in your lesson plans, you can put in your videos from your lessons, videos for kids. Um, everything can be put into Schoology. Uh, what's great about Schoology is you can embed videos into the program from websites, which kind of eliminates the need for the kids to open up new tabs on their computers and slow their computers down. Schoology also syncs directly with Skyward, and that is a huge plus because once your assignments are created in Schoology, you just press a sync button and it automatically, everything goes into Skyward. You don't need to recreate the assignments. You don't need to retype in um, grades into Skyward. It's already there. So it really does kind of save time and it almost, almost makes grading assignments enjoyable. <laughs> wow, well, I remember all those grading assignments. I never quite remember them being enjoyable. However, they are a part of the responsibility. Um, I know this year has been kind of new for you. You've gone from teaching math to teaching online. That's been a new experience. So. Do you have a funny story or an anecdote that you might want to share with our viewers about your online experience? Yes, um, sure. We, the second nine weeks of school, made it mandatory for our kids to keep their cameras on so that we knew they were there. And not everybody in the house knew they were being recorded, so they may or may not have been fully dressed <laughs> at times. <laughs> That could be a little bit embarrassing, so. Interesting, yes. Well, great, thanks for your service to our students. We appreciate everyone tuning into Riceburg News and see you next week.